Welcome to Rivers.Run. When you open the app, you can just start typing and find your rivers very quickly. When you find the river, just click on it and it's going to expand and give you the river information, the gauges uh, in both CFS and feet, and you can see there's also a link directly into the river on American Whitewater. If you don't know what your, where your rivers are, you can go into advanced search and you can choose GPS coordinates. Here I'm going to pick my own location and I'm going to pick all the rivers within say 60 miles of where I live. You can see behind the list is automatically being pruned. I can customize it even further to get maybe the novice and intermediate runs that are within 60 miles. And I have this search link that gets created and that search link I can just use. So here's my custom list. I can just do one click and sort by novice to intermediate skills. I can click over under flow and it'll be sorted by the flow levels from very high to very low and I can quickly see what's runnable. I can also get email notifications for the rivers that I want. So I noticed that the Cape Fear is a novice run near me. So now I want to get notifications for that. I just pick that river and I can go in and choose the minimum and maximum heights when I want to know that it's running. So I'm going to choose a little bit lower than the maximum on the Cape Fear. So I'm going to go with from two to four feet and I want to get emails sent to me for that. So now the Cape Fear has been added to my list. I also have my other local rivers, the Haw, the Flat, and the Eno set up to get notifications. So here's an example of the emails that I get which would show me the rivers that are too high and the rivers that are running. And I can link directly into rivers.run and see those rivers anytime that I want. I can sort those by skill and flow. And every one of these links that are made are all copy and shareable. So I can just send that to a friend. Probably want to make a short li link for it. Uh, but those links are all available. Rivers.run also has a map view. This shows all the rivers and gauges. They're color coded by flow. You can hover over and see the name. You can then select a river and right from the river you can launch Google Maps and get directions directly to the put in or the takeout of your choice. That same map view is also available if you open up any river and when you select it, the river, you see the click to load map and that also will allow you to go directly in and get the Google Maps for the put in or the takeout. Let's look a little further at this Haw River because there's a few other interesting things. This one's actually using an NWS gauge instead of USGS and that gives you the predictive flows and the link directly into NWS. The other thing that's interesting here is not only do we have the Bynum gauge, but we also have the upstream gauge for Haw River. So you can also see related gauges with a click of a button here. If you'd like additional information added to a river, just click Edit This River and you'll go into a Google Doc where you can make suggested changes to max or min runs to the gauges, and those will be submitted for uh, consideration. Additionally, you can submit additional new rivers by clicking on the Add a New River and going into the Write It Maker. And here you would just type in the information on the river, filling in the class and the GPS coordinates, and submitting that river in as a new suggestion. You can also start uh, new rivers by looking up a river from a USGS gauge and then clicking on the Create River Using Gauge. And that will also bring you into the Write Up Maker where you can fill that out and submit that new river. Rivers.run also works offline for those times that you're stuck in the middle of nowhere with no Wi Fi. You can do all the searches, you can sort by flows. You can then go in and, and pick any of the rivers. When you scroll down, you'll see the gauges. It does tell you how old the data is so that you can always work that out in your head. You can also go in and load maps. You won't get 
all the same resolution, but they're pretty good to show you where the rivers are and to find another river that maybe you want to run nearby and you can go in and look at its data. Ask rivers.run if the French Broad Section 9 is running. French Broad Section 9 had a level of 4,360 CFS or 3.3 feet as of 50 minutes ago, which is a little high. The maximum levels is 7,000 CFS, however levels above 3,500 CFS are considered high for the gauge French Broad River at Marshall, North Carolina. Happy paddling! You can use rivers.run on the web or as an app and it's even available and works offline. Happy paddling. If you have questions, please contact support at rivers.run.